Hey y'all, it's Casual Baron, and today I'm going to show y'all a game called Writers of Icarus, and it's available through Nexon. It's a great game. It features mounts, pets, it's an RPG fantasy world, it's an open world. There's only certain things where you'll get your own personal instance, like this, what I'm in right now, is some kind of a little, my own private area. Oh, that's a pretty moon. And so, yeah, you get mounts. What I mean is obvious, you know, things you can ride on. Some of them can only, oh, it can't fly here. It's a no-fly zone. Whoops. We'll put you away. So there's some cool mounts. This one right here is available in the second area. Once you finish Burkhard Forest, you'll be sent to a place where you'll be inside of a, like a castle city. And you want to head south. And it's going to be right by this Bergen farm or something like that. Just to the west of that. And there'll be a horses and stuff. And you want to get the one that says... Is it, what is it? Barrios? Barlos? Barrios. Alright. So. Now then... <laughs> So let's pretend that you did the mistake that I made the first time was I came in here, I had like just enough money to waypoint from the castle to here, which was a mistake by the way, because then when I got here I was stranded. But I learned something. I learned how to make some easy little bit of money. And that is when you're inside this place, when you finally get to this place and you're able to kill the giant monster that I'm going to show y'all in a second effectively and easily <coughs> then you'll be able to get some items and you can extract them to make your other items stronger and stuff like that so what you want to do is you want to hunt this big old spider Taslan almost always has an item in the bag that is the first time I ever got that little bit of copper that's weird normally I get like 30 20 something copper and an item wonder if my mountain had anything to do with it it's just a thought Let's see. No. Maybe it's my level. I guess it's my level. It must be. Anyway, so there's all kinds of pets, you know. But to do that, you're going to need one of these pet schools. And in Brookhart Forest, you'll get a quest that shows you all about that. I mean, Brookhart Forest is like your tutorial area. What I'm going to show you all is something that the tutorial map doesn't show you. Which is how to get Taslan as a pet and how to get Cold Tusk as a pet. And the cool thing is that those two mounts, their thing that you need to do is in basically the same area. Anyway, I'm going to go over there and I'll show y'all. So I don't think you can see my mouse. So I'm going to hold this map open for a bit and you can see where my arrow is at. It's, it's right there on just north of the Shimmerwood camp, the green name by that glowing tree. And your quest line will take you there eventually. And to my north is a Brigine war camp or Brogan, whatever. The, each NPC has their own way of saying that word, so I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Anyway, you want to go in there. We're going to just... whoops. Not the button I wanted to push. going to ignore all of these guys completely we're just going to ride into the back because our target is the head honcho that's riding the bull and it's the chieftain riding the boar that we need we're going to take away his tin we're going to take away his mount and we're just going to take everything else away from as well. 
So what you want to do is you want to target him. But be careful because the thing is, you can knock him off of the mount. And if that happens, just back up and avoid attacking the mount. It could be tedious, but if you do that, then you get your loot, activate your pet tamen thing, just jump on that back. Why won't it let me jump on the back? Oh right, you have to select it. There we go. Then you got your WASD thing that's an A. It'll tell you the letter too in the little square. WASD. Just think of up, down, left, right. A is left, S is down, W is up, D is right. You get the picture. So anyway, that's how you get Cold Tusk. You beat his master and then you tame him. But I've already got this fine fellow, so I'm just gonna let him, gonna let him go. Eighty copper. Now for Taslin, you need to kill these guys because if you don't get the book thing from the Kabimas that are in the quest, then you'll have to come back out here, and eventually. One of these guys is going to drop the thing that you need. Oh, right. Can't open a box when I'm being hit. So I'm just going to keep on going until I get the box and I'll come back. Mind you, there have been people that, like, spent two hours on this. But it's RNG. It could be, like, my next kill. Who knows? But just be careful with that boss over there. If you're not prepared for him or you're just not good at fending him off, stay up over here while, you know, try to get over here away from him or wait till he's off out there patrolling the gate or he's just a great spot is for when he's right there. Because then he'll go out towards the gate and then he'll come back. So it gives you a little window to kill one of these shamans. Let's see if he dropped it. Oh. It's a tempering stone. Level 5. Well, he dropped it. And I messed up because now this guy's going to attack me, isn't he? Oh no, I got out of the way just in time. Alright, still looking for it. Still looking for it. Another thing to note is you see in the bottom right, there's the name of the guy, his level, his rarity whether he's passive or hostile and what his attack style is then it also says underneath there unable to tame so that means there are things you can tame there's things you can't tame how do you know you just highlight them sometimes there's a hostile monster that you can tame so don't think that all the tameable things are going to be passive because some of them are hostile and some of them are hostile with hostiles all around them Mm. Well, it does drop from those guys because that's how I got them out in the first place. I couldn't get it from the Kabimis that were in the quest. I had to come back over here and kill those high shaman over there. And that's how I got the book that allowed me to tame the big old spider over there. And if I haven't already shown you the spider mount, I don't use it very often because it seems like it's for casters with this bonus to a magic attack. Maybe in a berserker, I don't need that. But here is the spider. If you like bugs, if you like to collect them. Well, here's a big bug for you to collect. Okay, so I couldn't get the dang drop. I don't know why. But I spent ages over there and I'm not going to spend any more time on that. All I know is that it drops there because that's how I got it in the first place. Alright, well, going to head, I'm going to double tap my W key so I can run faster. I'm going to run off over there and see if I can make it back to town. Otherwise, I'll be stuck in Drakkar Forest until I make enough to waypoint. And since I'm going to be killing for pennies, it's going to take a while. Okay, let's see if I can afford to go home. Teleport to local shrine because we can't even jump off the cliff here. 
That's the closest one. Oh, I was barely able to afford it. That's lucky. Anyway, so I don't know if I said it or I was just thinking it, but I remember saying that you start off in the middle of that castle over there and you don't. You actually start here. And that's the bird you fly here on with this guy over here. And then too bad he doesn't take you back over here each time because... Uh, anyway, so we're going to... Well, I'm going to show y'all where this... Let me get off the spider and just fly. I'm going to show y'all where the horses are. There's some just to the north here. There's brown ones. If Okay, so here they are. So you got your you got your brown horse. It's a basic horse, right? Now we're going to fly to the other side of the castle. And I'm gonna show you the other ones. Okay, so here we are. Verdant Meadows West. Even though this is to the south, but I guess this is the west side of the Verdant Meadows. So here is the crossing palfrey. That's another regular horse. This one, instead of being brown, this one is like a whitish gray. The one I like is over here. Barrios. And I've already got one of him. Let's have a look. Here he is, and here's his skills. I like the dark aura, because that means that if my cold tusk runs out of stamina, I can get on Barrios, and I'll still have a, a pet with, you know, that gives me defense. What throws me off, though, is they're both two-star pets, right? And this one is movement, but this one runs faster. I mean, normally it's just seven point, right? The extra 21 is from the items, but his is 6.3. And I get that he's got this skill over here, but I think that that's kind of counterproductive. It's like this pet should be running faster because it is a movement based pet or mount I mean sorry but uh, whatever now in um, a lot of games they'll feature something where you can purchase it from the store and the only way to get that currency is to buy it in this game they offer an alternative to acquiring that currency you see here the Ellen's. There are these things, these dailies, and if I could just remember how to open the menu. Oh, give me a second, I forgot the button. Okay, that was the left bracket you see over here. Achievements. You go to achievements, and each one of these things you achieve, they can give you a reward, right? You go down to repeatable, and there's daily, weekly, and monthly. See, the guys that made this game were thinking about the players you can tell because when a game thinks about the players they offer you these things these gifts for playing the game and that's what you see here there's weekly monthly daily and daily is these little coins you get and you get an Ellen and the coins you can turn in for some cool stuff some like prizes so in this game buying the stuff is more is more lean towards supporting the game which is the way it should be instead of like if you want to get this you got to buy it you know it, it's a gift for supporting the game because you can still earn it within the game and i think that that's absolutely great i like that i also like the mounts and the fact that you can fight from the mounts but you can't i just wish that there were some like lower level crossbows because I didn't get a crossbow till I was level 14 and I had to wait so long I was like oh I can't use my mount being in combat because 
I'll get my butt kicked. I can't attack when I'm on my mount. I can't even punch them or kick them. So, when you're level 14, you get a crossbow. You get a crossbow through a quest that gives you these two skills. Where are they? Aim shot, which is... I don't know. It's some, something's wrong with that skill. Well, nothing's wrong with it. It's just... I mean, you hold it down, right? And I keep getting that cooldown and progress message. I have to be patient and tap it. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. It's working just fine. For me, it's just like I don't like my chat being spammed with that. Um, crossbow attack. That's my favorite one. That's the rapid fire right there. And you can use these two skills if you're hitting something. I'll give you an example. If I could just find a target. Okay, that level 14 fox. Look how far away it is. And it's going to have that much more trouble falling. See this one crippling shot. You see, I killed it all the way over there because you can use... When you're fighting with something that's on the ground, you can use this and combine it with this to keep your distance. This is like some extra DPS because it's a multiple hit and does a fairly nice amount of damage. Or you could just use this one and, you know, hold the button down and take a break, right? Relax and just take it easy. And fire bolts out of your butt. Alright then. So, that's... That's Riders of Icarus, and it's a great game. And if you have never heard of it, have never thought about trying it out, I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can try it out. Because it is a great game. Alright. Not a day y'all make it great. Take care, and I'll see y'all in the next video. See ya.